All right, so Ubisoft did something that is making everybody upset, and they're trending right now on Twitter and other places, and everyone's upset at Unity, or Unity, not Unity, Ubisoft, my goodness. For some reason, I always get them mixed up for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, just there's just a ton of people saying pirate their games and all sorts of things. Now, I'm not here to defend Ubisoft or anything, but we're going to be looking at what exactly they are doing. Um, it says decommissioning of online services, and we are going to check out this list here and see exactly. Now, I've already looked at some of these games I don't, I've never played before. Like, uh, Anno, I think it's called Anno 2070. I've never played it. And it says you'll be unable to play multiplayer. Um, it sounds alright to me. You won't be able to play multiplayer. That sounds fine. To me, I'm not exactly sure what Anno is, uh, but multiplayer has to go down eventually, especially if it's an old game, but I don't actually know when this game came out, uh, so we're going to look that up right now. Alright, so Anno 2070 came out in 2011, and they're taking down multiplayer services. So from what I'm, I'm thinking here, from what I'm seeing from this game is uh, this has single player and multiplayer and they're just taking down the multiplayer and it's, uh, it's about, it's actually 10, 11 years old right now, 11, about 11 years old right now. So, and I mean, 11 years old for a game. I mean, possibly, I don't think they should completely take down the services, maybe add something or change it to where you can still play, but it might not be, I, I don't really know what to do about it. The thing is, multiplayer, online multiplayer has to go eventually, uh, it just depends on, well, the game, in my opinion, because multiplayer, the servers have to be taken down eventually. Because they're just costing resources and if if not enough people are playing it or they're not making money from it, it's not sustainable and uh, it's it, they need to free up that space. But um, I don't know much about that game so we're going to move on to the next game. Alright, the next game is Assassin's Creed 2. Now this is where uh, it says the same thing. You'll be unable to play multiplayer, link Ubisoft accounts in-game or use online features. It sounds all right, you know, you're disabling the multiplayer. I've never played Assassin's Creed 2 multiplayer, and I've never, actually, I think Assassin's Creed 2 is the only Assassin's Creed game I haven't played. So, yeah, not, not sure about that one. It just says unable to play multiplayer, which seems fine for me. It's an older game. Multiplayer has to come down eventually. But then this is where it kind of starts to get really bad. And we get to Assassin's Creed 3 2012 release. For PC, you will be unable to play multiplayer, which in my opinion, it's alright. It's getting kind of old, but again, it just turned 10 years old, so it's not even really that old yet. Uh, it's kind of old. But this is the main problem with this is, additionally, the installation and access to downloadable content DLC will be unavailable, which means... You can play the game, single player, but any DLC for Assassin's Creed 3, I don't know the DLCs for Assassin's Creed 3, but if you purchased the DLCs, no matter what you paid for them or anything, you you paid for them, and now you can't play them. And we're going to check out how many DLCs for Assassin's Creed 3 there are uh, right now, in fact.
All right, right here, downloadable content packs. There's one, two, three, four. Um, I think these are subcategories of this one. Uh, I've never played the DLC. I never owned the DLC. I just owned the original game. But it seems that there are right here and right here because this is all extra content. So any of the extra content you will not be able to get. So all this stuff too. And obviously the season pass. So all this stuff, even if you purchased it, you will not be able to access it even though you own it. Which I feel like is some, there's something wrong going on right there. I'm not sure if, like, there's got to be something legal about that. They can't just take away something that you purchased. They can't just revoke your access. I mean, it's a single player. This is single player stuff right here. This is not like an online mode. Like, take a game for like Rainbow Six Siege. I'm sure it's not going away anytime soon, but eventually Rainbow Six Siege will have to go away and be its online services will be gone. And it is an online only game, so you take that risk when you play the game. But this is single player stuff. This is single player stuff for the single player mode in Assassin's Creed 3. So that is not good at all. I can definitely see why people are upset about that. That is a big no. But then we get to the PlayStation 3, Wii U, and Xbox 360, where it says you will only be unable to play multiplayer. Which I guess you you won't be able to play multiplayer, but for some reason on PC you won't be able to access the install or install the DLCs. But on PlayStation 3, Wii U, and Xbox 360, you will. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. So there's a big problem right there. Then we get to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Great Assassin's Creed game. One of my first Assassin's Creed games, or the Assassin's Creed games, one of the first that I played. And uh, again, on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, you won't be able to access multiplayer. But then we get to the PC version. You will not be able to install or access DLC content that you've already purchased. That you have already purchased. And I'm not going to get into the DLCs of all these. But this. Let's move on. We're just going to keep moving on here. Because it's just going to keep getting. It's just going to keep getting worse and worse here. Probably. Uh, Assassin's Creed Liberation HD. Uh, won't be able to link Ubisoft in-game or online features. Additionally, the installation and access to DLC won't be available. So again, even more content that you pay for. You won't be able to access. And. It's you're now gaining a big list of content that you could have possibly bought so far if you're an Assassin's Creed fan I mean and you own the old Assassin's Creed games you are just getting just ripped off by Ubisoft right now they're just taking stuff that you purchased away from you basically um driver San Francisco again you won't be able to play multiplayer and you won't be able to have access to DLC but then on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox, you just won't be able to access multiplayer. But apparently, I guess you'll be able to access the DLC because it doesn't say you won't be able to. So, uh, Far Cry 3! Far Cry 3! I mean, that game is still... That game is still popular. It's a massive popular game. Still, I've... People still benchmark the game. For, like, I still watch people benchmark the game. And see people run the game at, at like try to push it to 8k or at least I've seen the videos people play this game it's one of the most popular Far Cry games uh, that but that doesn't matter you'll be able to un you you'll be unable to play multiplayer which I'm pretty sure means you can't play the game in co-op anymore um though I've never personally played co-op in Far Cry 3 it's actually my I've never really I have Far Cry 3 but I've never really played it that much I should really play it but I just haven't gotten to it yet but additionally you won't be able to access DLC and Far Cry 3 Far Cry 3 this is Far Cry 3 is not even 10 years old it's almost 10 years old I think I don't think it's 10 years old it's 2012 I'm sure we're, we're actually gonna see but again look at that it's not even 10 years old. It's it's 9 years old, almost getting to 10 years old. So you're already having a game that's not even 10 years old. And uh, let's let's check out this game on Steam here. Uh, for DLC for this product and online elements will become available. Which uh, basically means featured DLC. They still are featuring this DLC right here. This free High Tides DLC pack, they still feature the DLC when you buy the game for 
If you buy the game right now on Steam for $20, it says the featured free DLC right here. You won't get this. This is, you won't be able to access this. Uh, Deluxe Edition, you won't be able to access any of this stuff. And if you've already bought it, you won't be able to access any of that stuff. So, uh, I'm sure this recent reviews here is going to go from very positive to uh, negative uh, pretty quickly. Alright, let's just keep continuing here. Let's just keep continuing. Uh, Ghost Recon Future Soldier for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. The multiplayer will be unavailable and to play the solo campaign, you will have to set your console into offline mode. So basically, you know, you're going to have to, first off, half the game is gone. And if you want to play the campaign, you're going to have to go in offline mode. So there's another thing. Prince of Persia, the Forgotten Sands. Uh, you'll be able to un unable to play multiplayer, of course, and you won't be able to access DLC. I mean, this just continues. This just continues here. Um, Rayman Legends, I don't think that's a big deal because you just won't be able to link in-game or use online features. I think when it says this, I'm not exactly sure what it means when, you, when you'll when you be unable to link Ubisoft accounts in-game or use online features. I'm pretty sure it just disables the rewards and any online features, but you'll still be able to play the game. So, I, I, I think it's playable. I actually want to make a video and test how many of these games are playable and what is not playable. Uh, Silent Hunter 5, I don't even know what that is. Uh, but, again, same thing, and you won't be able to access DLC. Uh, Space Junkies, as a multiplayer-only title, you'll be able to un unable to play the game going, going forward. And this is actually a pretty recent game. This game, I'm sure, is not even maybe max five years old because it's it's for uh, virtual reality. So we're gonna check it. We're gonna check it right now. I've never actually heard of this game, Space Junkies, but we are going to check it. Uh, well, at least they had the courtesy to take the game down. It's no longer for sale. Uh, but if you already bought the game, oh, I've seen this game before, actually. I almost bought this game before because it looked kind of cool, but I ended up not getting it. Uh, March 2019 is when this game came out, so not even, it's like three years, and this game's already, yeah, they just shut down the game. Do not buy. Uh, yep, they just shut down the game, so if you bought this game, well, uh, they basically just took your money and you can't play the game anymore. So, hope you're happy with your purchase. Next, we got a very sad one in my opinion. I actually really like this game. It's, I think it's the, uh, well, one of the only Splinter Cell games that I played. And I used to play it on the uh, Xbox 360 all the time. I used to play the, like... I forget what exactly, but it's like a wave mode. You survive and stuff, and I, I used to have so much fun in that game, and the PvP was so cool. I, I really like this game, but uh, you'll you'll be able to un you'll be unable to play multiplayer, so that's part of the game gone that you won't be able to play, and I'm pretty sure you won't be able to play co-op either. So basically, just the single player of this game. I'm pretty sure. At least that's what. I'm getting from unable to play multiplayer. And then Zombie U, uh, you'll be able to unlink or use online features. I think that's that's alright because I'm pretty sure that's just a single player game. And uh, it's, uh, it's also on Steam and the Steam version is not affected. And the remastered version, oh, the remastered version of the game is not affected. And also the Assassin's Creed 3 remaster, which kind of seems hardly a remaster in my opinion is also not affected but yeah these are the list of games that are affected basically uh if you paid for any of this content you are just not going to be able to access it and you wasted your money uh well actually you didn't really i mean it's kind of a thing i mean you you, you bought it and you most likely played it a little bit but again you did pay for it to own it and now it's just being taken away from you years later so that's something about, that's basically DRMs in general. If you own a game in on any website that's a DRM, like Steam, Ubisoft, uh, Origin, 
whatever platform it is, if you own it and it's through a DRM, you you really don't own the game. Uh, that's I, some people don't think about that or maybe know that, but when you purchase things through a DRM, you don't really own the game. You just are basically purchasing a license to be able to play the game. Now, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure on it either, but it's something like that. And technically, they can take it away from you, I think. I, I, I'm, think I, I'm not 100% sure here, but it's not a good thing to do. And it's definitely going to make them look bad and ruin their reputation even more. Even more. I, I don't know how much more reputation can be taken away, but it's going to ruin it a bit more. And I'm sure people are going to be less likely to buy Ubisoft stuff since uh, Ubisoft just decides to take away the stuff that you buy years later. So, you know, be careful if you purchase something from Ubisoft. Uh, this is sad. Um, you know, I'm not condoning it I won't say that in this video but uh, if you really do want to play the DLC for some of these games uh, again I'm sure you can probably pirate it and it will probably work so though I haven't specifically looked for any of these things that you're not gonna be able to play anymore to pirate it to see it but uh, let's just let's just move on your stuff is getting taken away by Ubisoft that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you guys think about Ubisoft doing this. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because you want to be subscribed. I'll see you guys next time.